What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback Joe Gomez card to review. It is a card that is looking incredible. He has got 91 pace with 83 dribbling, 93 defending, 90 physicals with the 83 passing as well. He's a six foot two player as well. So like that reach in that center back position is definitely going to be solid to work with. He's got medium, medium work rates as well with three star skill moves and a three star weak foot. Now the chem style, Shadow. I feel like Shadow is 100% going to be the way to go. You want to try to boost up that acceleration as much as possible. So the Shadow Chem style is giving him 94 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. That kind of pace in that center back position, yeah, that is definitely solid. His passing ability, I mean, 98 short passing looks incredible, right? The 82 long passing looks pretty good. And the 75 vision is pretty good as well. So yeah, the passing looks very nice for a center back but like the long passing on the other hand it doesn't look like anything insane let's say he doesn't look like he's gonna play those over top through balls down the line very consistently but we'll give them a go and see how they are today he's dribbling ability as well looks pretty nice nothing nothing incredible we're not talking about alaba kind of dribbling stats here but he's dribbling stats for a six foot two player definitely looks solid he has got 99 reactions which is insane to have as a send back and he also has got 89 composure as well his defending stats look beautiful just straight up beautiful like 99 interceptions 89 heading accuracy 98 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling and the 99 slide tackling as well i'm expecting him to put in really really good tackles today and the physicals keep in mind we haven't touched it with a chem style and look how good those physicals are. 93 strength straight off the bat with 90 aggression as well, with 87 stamina and 84 jumping as well. Now the links, I mean, he's English. He plays in the Prem. He plays for Liverpool. Yeah, the links are straight up insane i don't think i need to mention players you guys already know who you can link this card up with positions one position and one position only is going to be in that center back position so yeah let's get into uh the review and let's see how good this card is going to be he's probably going to go down yeah he's trying to accelerate past gomez and that is not going to happen good tackle i'm just going to play a simple pass over to fred because i don't want to lose the ball in that kind of area he wants that pass up to Neymar. I'm going to push Gomez out. We couldn't reach it, unfortunately, but we have got Varane there. But look at Gomez all by himself, by the way. I was not controlling him. And yeah, I nearly lost the ball in a stupid area. I'm impressed that he got back there and he actually put in a tackle all by himself. He's going to pass through in the middle. I knew it. Can I get that? Nope. Good turn from Neymar. Gomez keeping up with him, putting Neymar onto the ground as well. Really nice transition speed there. And he puts in a good tackle. We got a corner here. Let's see what we can do with Gomez. He's six foot two. He's got 84 jumping. He has got good heading accuracy as well. So I'm expecting him to at least challenge for this. I'm not sure who that's up against. Is that a Zidane? It is going to be Zidane. Why not actually give it back to him? Oh, that flick was way better than how I expect it to go. Let's see if we can catch up here. Look at Vinny. Yeah, he didn't want to. He didn't want to continue running. He knew Gomez was going to catch up there. I might just push towards him here. Go for a slide tackle. And it was apparently a perfectly timed slide tackle. I was kind of expecting to be a bit closer to him, but it ended up working. So we'll take it. Should we go for maybe a switch all the way to the other side? Let's go for a through ball here. Well, that didn't really work out how I wanted it to. He was open on the other side as well. Like, how was that so bad? Through ball there, getting covered. Well, we couldn't get that. He's going to cut in 100%. Yeah, we just that's when we just push out with Gomez there. He gets out to the play really nicely. And he puts in a good tackle. Not really possession-based, but it went our way. He's going to pass it into the inside. No extra pass to the striker here. That's what I'm trying to cover. He does a rainbow flick with N'Golo Kante. And then a drag back after that. Yeah, that's never, ever going to work against Gomez. I can't believe he tried a, a rainbow flick with, with uh, N'Golo Kante. Like, who does that? Ran no way you get into a falling over animation there. Gomez, can you cover for him? Obviously you can. Good transition, by the way. Really good transition. I thought the player was just going to run up because that's where the open space was. And he hit me with like an unexpected ball roll into the inside. So the transition with Gomez there to recover was solid. I see Gomez making a little run down the line here. So I might as well give it to him. Go for a few dribbles. He definitely feels nice on the ball for a center back. I can definitely say that. Like he doesn't feel insane, but he feels solid trying to find the pass into the middle he might go all the way up and we read it with gomez he pushes out nicely as well just continue going here i could go for a pass down the line but i also saw 
Zaha wide open and look how good of a pass that was. He could go for through, but there he is going to go for it. Look at Gomez ahead of Zidane and look at the strength coming into play. Is he just going to continue running? I reckon he is. I'm going to believe in Gomez here. I should have switched to Varane. I should have switched to Varane. But Gomez still got there at the end. It's just, it would have been safer to switch to Varane. Shout out Varane here. Is he going to go for a through ball? He might. And he is. And Gomez is going to put in a good tackle. It was kind of weird. I'll be honest. It like kind of just bounced between the two players. But we came out with a ball and Gomez got out to the player really nicely. No way. That's such a good pass. But that's an unreal slide tackle. That was me, by the way, kicking slide tackle. I know some people are probably going to think that's his reactions coming into play with his, uh, with his auto animations, let's say. But no, I went for the slide tackle there. And it was a perfectly timed slide tackle. No way. I need to switch to Gomez here. He's got around Varane. Is he going to take the shot early? You know what? We're going to go for the slide tackle. Take the risk. And it's a perfect slide tackle. He's going to pass it into the inside. Gomez, can you step there? You can. Unfortunately, we couldn't get out to it fast enough because I didn't switch it in fast enough. But look at that reach and look at that possession-based interception. I'm going to switch it to Bamiang and hope Gomez is in the box. Yeah, there you go. He wasn't inside the box when the other person was taking it. I don't know why. Let's go near post here. He's open. It's very far out, though. So, yeah, I'm not really expecting him to even get it on target. We did yellow time it, though, so I kind of let him down as well. That's a good through ball in behind. I need to go ahead and switch to Gomez so he can come over. And that's a good tackle. He hasn't pushed out the keeper. I could go proper near post here. Get Gomez on it. Go on. No. Who did he lose that to? I don't know who he lost it to, but like he was in front of the player. He just completely missed it. We'll roll that. You see what I mean about like he's dribbling? Like you can tell it's not fast at all, but like it's not slow at the same time. And that's a nice pass over to Zaha. He's going to go through the middle. That's such a good interception from Gomez though. Possession based once again, keeping it very nice and close to his feet. I might rush at him here. Oh, he went for that pass. Gomez is here. Nah, I shouldn't have gone for that tackle. Oh my God, he missed it. If I didn't go for the tackle there, Gomez easily gets the ball. It's a good pass to the edge. Gomez, get that ball. Well played. He puts, I think it's best, right? Yeah, it is. Best onto the ground. Is this Varane? Why is he Varane this high up? He's going to go for a through ball, isn't he? I think he might be slightly offside. But look at Gomez easily getting in front of the player and just, and just clearing the ball. The fact that he got in front of him there was ridiculous. So it is time to give my final opinion on the card. We ended up playing four games with Gomez. I couldn't get a goal with him. I couldn't get a single assist with him either. The thing is, going into this, I wasn't really expecting to get a goal or an assist with him because you look at his height, you're like, oh, six foot two. That's going to be nice. He's got that 89 heading accuracy as well, which is also nice. It's just he's jumping being at 84. It isn't anything special. He is definitely a player that lost out on headers that I thought he was actually going to win. So yeah, the heading ability... It's all right. It just isn't anything up there with someone like Flashback Ferran or even Team of the Year Ruben Diaz, let's say. Now, the first thing I do want to talk about is the pace. The pace on this card with the Shadow Chem style is incredible. He was catching up to players for fun. He was getting out to players for fun. His transition speed as well was beautiful. There were so many situations that I was in that I needed him to have good transition speed. And he just did so well to get himself back into the position and put in a very, very good tackle. So yeah, the pace, loved it. Passing ability. Some overtop through balls were beautiful. Others, not great. But that's kind of what you expect from a player that's got 82 long passing with 75 vision you expect that inconsistency so yeah you definitely can notice that and he's short passing <laughs> yeah short passing was beautiful he didn't screw up a single like pass into the middle passing all round though for a center back i definitely will say is solid he's dribbling ability not slow but not fast either. Like you can definitely tell there's certain turns that aren't that great, but in most cases you can go for a few twists and turns and then just end up passing the ball. You don't want to go for too many because trust me, you'll end up losing the ball in a stupid area and you'll end up conceding. It's just, yeah, he's dribbling ability. It's all right, nothing outstanding. He's defending ability though. Disgusting, disgustingly good, man. It is so, so solid. Like his interceptions was something I was really enjoying because he would react so quick towards the ball with his 99 reactions and the interception would be possession based every time. It wouldn't bounce off him. It wouldn't go directly back to my opponent. No, it would stick straight to his feet and I would just end up coming out with a ball. His defensive awareness as well, insane. Even though 
He hasn't got that high defensive work rate. He was tracking runs all over the place here. You could definitely notice the defensive awareness as well. And the standing tackling, yeah, it definitely was beautiful. He's physicals. You saw, you saw him body off a certain individual. I won't mention his name. I don't want to embarrass him. But yeah, he got bodied. That 93 strength was beautiful. He was going up to players, holding them off. He was going up to other individuals, pushing them off the ball. So yeah, you could definitely notice that 93 strength with that 90 aggression as well. Now, this ain't a cheap card. He's going for 600k. 600,000 coins for this flashback Gomez card. It's a lot of coins. I can kind of understand why it's priced like that. But this is the thing. When you have team of the season Laporte going for 450k and you have honorable mentions Rudiger going for 300k, I just don't believe this Gomez card is worth the 580k to 600k he is going for. I feel like it is slightly, slightly overpriced. I know a lot of people want me to compare him to obviously Premier League centre-backs. Is he better than Varane? I do not believe so. Is he better than Laporte? They're very similar. Very, very similar. I think though I would take Laporte over this Gomez card. Like I've got Laporte on this account untradeable and he is disgusting with that Shadow Chem style. He's so, so good. See, I would take Laporte over this Gomez card. Would I take Rudiger over Gomez? I think I would, you know. The reason I say that is because of Rudiger's aggression. Rudiger's aggression is a joke. See, I would take honorable mentions Rudiger over this Gomez card as well. So yeah, 600k, I definitely do believe it is overpriced. Where does he go in the tier list? He's better than every single defender in that A-plus tier. So he 100% deserves to go into the S tier. It's just, yeah, I don't believe he is uh, he's better than Laporte. I don't believe he is better than Rudiger. And I do not believe he is better than Varane. But 100%, he is still an S tier centre back. I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.